your relationship with Cole during y'all playing days? Mm -hmm. Like, did y'all have a strong, strong connection during y'all playing days, competing against each other? What was that? Was that because you had some iconic moments here in LA and versus Cole and specifically that's that's well documented. It was like an assassin and an apprentice coming up, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I used to go there like at you know three, like three thirty, right? I'll sit in the stands, let him go first, right? Just watching, and then he'll leave, and then I'll I'll come, right? Around two thousand six seven. He'll start later, right? Mm -hmm. And he'll stay. He'll stay there knowing that I'm going to be waiting. He'll stay there until other players came. Mm -hmm. So when other players came of mine, now I got to shoot on the court with everybody with else. everybody else. No, so this was 2005, six where he did that. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is what we doing now. He, hold, <laughs> oh, he holding me hostage so I can't get no shots up. Yeah. I bet. So 2006, seven, the game where I scored 60, right? I just got on the court, fuck it. We ain't playing these games no more, right? And so I said, hey, is he looking? They was like, he was like, nah, his back turned. So I was like, all right, listen, I'm gonna just shoot. And then eventually just start like 35 in a row, 40, 40, 35, 36 in a row, 37 in a row, right? So I said, let me know when he looked, right? So he's saying it out loud and yeah. he said, Kobe looked. He was like, yeah, Kobe looking right now. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm done, I'm done, right? I was like, hell yeah, got his ass, made his ass look. That's all I needed, made his ass look. Yeah. Like, Come on, you hit 35, yeah, right. 36. The hell is that? That's all I needed right there. <laughs> Dang, I needed that. So it was one of those things where we really like, it was real competition, right? It's like Kobe is one of those dudes where he wanted an assassin to go against, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't want you, hey man, I'm a big fan of yours, man. But nah, he wants somebody like, yo, I'm about to bust your ass tonight. And you going at him, mm -hmm. right? That just, he, he wanted that. He wanted to see like how great he was. And only way he can see that is if, you are a Titan too, mm -hmm. right? So when you look at some of the people that he put on his team, right? It's all the people who stood up to him. Mm -hmm. Metal War Peace, uh, Matt Barnes, right? After they, you know, Metal come on, come team. play with me. Don't like that, with those me. are the type of guys he wanted, right? Mm -hmm. So he was one of those dudes that he was gonna test you at all times, right? He'll call you three o'clock in the morning. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Nothing. All right, I'm about to be in the gym. Let's go shoot. To see if you say, oh, nah, man, I'm, I'm tired out. Because once you say, nah, he off you. Mm -hmm. He don't want to work. That, that's, that's the mind games he'll play. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, are, you ready to black out? I black out. Yeah, we just going to keep going until we pass out. <laughs> we just going to keep going until we pass out. Yeah, that's oh, wild. Fuck. That's right? wild. Because he, want, he, wants, he just wants to see the facial expression to the most part. Yeah, the kind that I mean, you're dealing with a you're dealing with a real soldier, man. Yeah. Like so, he wants to see who he can count on. Because if you can't, if you scared to put in work with him, then what about the people you don't know? You're gonna be afraid of Vince Carter and all these. Uh, you gonna respect them? And that's how he looked at it. Mm -hmm. So you can see, like when he didn't fuck with you, he didn't fuck with you mostly because when he t put that test out, you failed it. Mm -hmm. I know uh, I, I, I heard AI talk about this when uh, you know AI got the best of him one game. After that game, AI said Kobe was just livid in the, in, in the hotel room, breaking shit, throwing shit. In that point, I guess he, uh, he looked up or trained or, or found a way to train or be like a shark or some shit about the shark story. I don't know if you- no, I never heard that one. Yeah, it was something like he wanted to learn how shark how sharks like he just went through this whole loophole of how sharks <laughs> uh attack how sharks like he like that's the mm -hmm. the mind space or the mental uh space he was in after playing ai ai got the best of him that night i only asked that because i know you when you went for the 60 piece was there any you know kobe talking or any stories you heard after the after that what kobe was oh. like Oh yeah, he called. He called. He called Karan when we was on the plane. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Just tell him to be ready when he uh, when we come to uh, when we come to DC. You know what I mean? Yell in the back. <laughs> the black mongoose got you. Right? <laughs> the black mongoose. Because you know they said, because the uh, uh, we was talking shit and then uh, Brendan, he was like, tell me you the black mongoose. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the black, uh, the, the black mongoose got you. <laughs> like just, just yelling shit. And I was like, what's the black mongoose? That was like uh, the black mamba and the, the black yeah. mong, they, the, they each other's enemy. Yeah. And I was like, 
Are y'all trying to get me killed, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm trying to get me killed. But I knew when when he was coming, and when people say, was your best game the 60? Nah, not for Kobe. My best game was the 37. The reason is he said I wasn't going to score 20. Mm-hmm. And I took that as a personal challenge. One, there's no way you're holding me to 20. I don't give a fuck who is in your back line. Mm-hmm. That's one. Because before the 60, I was already averaging 32 against him. Mm-hmm. Right? So you already get because you don't move very well left to right. And I'm, you know, I'm not a shooting guard. I'm a guard, mm-hmm. right? So I'm coming downhill all the time. Mm-hmm. So all the little hand checking that didn't work. If I'm, if I'm right. <laughs> straight lining you, so <laughs> I, the team, the team already knew. Hey, this, as long as he guards me, it's one on one. Don't even call no plays. Get the fuck out of there, right? It's one on one because this ain't about the win. This is about am I gonna stand up that an assassin's coming? So mm-hmm. he had thirty nine. I had thirty seven. Mm-hmm. That's where I gain my respect. 60, oh, you shot a lot of free throws. What happens when I say I'm coming? Let's see what you, and that's what the stand, you know, so he respected the 37 more than he respected the 60. Mm -hmm. Bars. Look, the NBA season is in full swing and Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some money. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Prize Picks is easy and really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entries in less than 60 seconds. So be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash podcastp and use our promo code podcastp for a first deposit match up to $100. And Jackie, what do we always say? Cha-ching! 